For a second time, a judge has followed the jury's recommendation and sentenced a conspirator in the Neil Sweeney murder plot to spend the rest of their life in prison with no chance of parole. Fred Shields was convicted late last month and sentenced today. Prosecutors say he orchestrated the 2008 murder of Tulsa businessman Neil Sweeney. Trigger man Tariko Bethel was the first to stand trial. He was convicted in August and sentenced to life without parole. Prosecutors proved that Fred Shields, at the request of his brother Alan, sought out Bethel to shoot Sweeney and came up with the $10,000 price tag for the murder. Neil Sweeney's wife Jan faced Fred Shields in court as she read a victim impact statement. Miss Sweeney talked about when Neil Sweeney taught Sunday school, there was a senior who was quite quite rebellious going down a path that he shouldn't have and he turned his life around because of Mr. Sweeney's input in his life. Mrs. Sweeney said to Mr. Shields today, I dare say if you had had somebody like my husband in your life, we wouldn't be standing in front of one, one another today. Because Fred's brother Alan Shields killed himself during a police standoff last year, Alonzo Johnson will be the third and final suspect to stand trial in the Sweeney case. Gas station owner Mohammed Aziz, who admitted to hiring Alan Shields to kill Sweeney, took a plea deal of 25 to 35 years in prison in exchange for testifying against the other suspects. Aziz testified to wanting Sweeney dead because his business cut off gas to his stations due to unpaid fuel bills.